put the acid in shrooms like? If you mm. can do acid, you can do meth, I feel. I, mean, I think you'll be alright with meth. Acid and meth are so different, babe. What fucking planet are you on? Meth makes yeah, you want to, like, different. fucking take your clothes off and have sex with everybody, including, like, maybe, like, you know, your granddad's old friend in the hospital that smells like piss and has no teeth. Man, Whereas acid, acid, acid makes you... What? Acid well, do you know, a lot some of you. us aren't very, you know, proud of some of the things we've done in our life, Dusty. You know, I know, like, you're all, like, hardcore and, like, hardcore rock and stuff. But some of us have made some pretty fucking poor life decisions that we've had to live with and wake up every day thinking about it, okay? That is why I smoke so much. But anyway, besides that, no. Acid, you see all sorts of fucking colors and sometimes the trees look like fucking monsters, okay? So there's a big difference between that Have you and like acid? fucking making out with a fucking toothless old man. That Have sounds you done scary. Acid? Yes, babe, I have fucking taken acid. Everything looks shinier and everything looks prettier and everything's just a little bit fucking better until it's fucking not. Have you heard about, have you heard stories of people who took acid and didn't have a good time? Yes, It babe. sounds way worse than meth. It probably is. Well, no, it yeah, depends. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So no, if you it depends because you're having that bad time in your own head. But if you're on meth and you're actually having sex with a man that's basically dead, then it's a bit different. You know, you've actually yeah, done that. Very, yeah. very well, not, specific, was, man. Okay, look, he was alive. Okay, he was alive. He just had no teeth, and he was like, oh, I can't talk about it anymore. Basically, I had to stop visiting my granddad, and I haven't seen him for a long time. I don't even know if he's alive. Or not. No, not my granddad. It was his friend in the in the old folks' home. And it wasn't my fault, okay? And I was high, and I was on meth, okay? And I don't want to talk about it anymore, right? So this conversation's over, and it never fucking happened. I'm getting in the car. You had sex with an old man. Go away! I don't even know myself. Apparently, uh, apparently Hi, babe. Some, uh, You're right, babe. Old, no, old I just don't want to be judged, okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm feeling like really sensitive right now. Yeah. Okay, like, I mean, I didn't mean to, okay? I was so, like, you know, I thought it was, I mean, I thought I was at a party. I didn't realize that I was at my granddad's old folks' home. I didn't realize it was the man across the corridor. I didn't realize that he smelled like piss. I didn't realize that there was going to be police there the next day after it happened, okay? I honestly, in my head, I was in a nightclub, and he was, like, a super cute guy, maybe, like, 30, 32, you know, hot, and that, you know, I didn't realize that, you know, it was actually a man with a fucking catheter bag, okay? Oh. Right. So, I mean, it's not my finest moment, but, you know, I have to live with these things and, you know, onwards and upwards from there, babe, right? Yeah. I know. Oh. I want to go and check my mail.